Well, hey there, team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to some more Stationeers, specifically the Go With The Flow update. So my timing was terrible. Again, I had a long hiatus because of this Steam Festival, long-ish, you know, a couple of weeks. Started a new episode, put that up yesterday for Vulcan, and uh, essentially as soon as I went to sleep, they released a massive update for the game that changes so much. So we're going to put Vulcan on the back burner for the moment. That was a pretty good start, but um, they, they've changed the mechanics a lot. We'll go over it. And they've also added Venus. So it'd be mad not to have a look at Venus, which apparently is Vulcan adjacent anyway. Apparently it's a bit of a fucking nightmare, so that's good too. So go with the flow. Big one, they've added Venus. Apparently this was spear, uh, spearheaded by uh, one of the modders in the community. So they've essentially co-opted his mod in with that dude's uh, permission and put into the base game. Uh, to create Venus. That's pretty cool. I like to hear that. Uh, working hand in hand with developers. Um, most importantly, they've added water and they've added thirst. So that's cool. Apparently the thirst is almost broken, overpowered at the moment, but we're going to give it a bloody go anyway until they patch it. So um, thirst is rough. I perused some of the comments on the Steam release uh, of the patch notes. It seems that you kind of have to rush steel pretty fast to be able to make like a water bottle refill. We'll figure it out as we go, but it was I was just sort of in there having a bit of a skim. Um, I'm going in moderately blind, but essentially, yeah, the thirst mechanic's pretty um, like intense and overbearing, and now water can exist. There's a lot of pipe systems, a lot of new uh, mechanics and items. Uh, I think like you have uh, water output um, or liquid output. I, I'm not really sure if water is the only liquid or if there are other liquid things as well. Now these liquids can't exist outside of a pipe network in the current build. They seem to have some problems rendering water. They had water in it once upon a time, I think, but they quickly got rid of it. Um, so that's okay, that's all right. Uh, I think that sort of leads to realize that there won't be state change in it at the moment either. So I'm curious what happens there, because that'd, that'd be big, having state change. So it seems like they're trying to keep the gases and the liquids very much separate, at least for the time being, and uh, you can't really spill them out, I think, uh, which is interesting. You might be able to use that as a, a way of exhausting liquids that you don't want or anything. So that's really exciting, really cool. I think if you got really pumped that I was going to play Vulcan, I apologize. But look, this is just as good. Um, and if you can't see that, we're well, just being a stick in the mud. We'll get to Vulcan eventually, but here we go. Look at this, Venus. Temperature, 98. Look at that, everything's on fire. That's not good. The 500 foot, fuck it, hell. Okay. What does solar angle zero mean? Solar angle eight. Oh, hang on, solar angle zero. Oh, okay, I get that. We'll only have to track along one axis. Wonderful. Extreme temperatures and ultra high pressures. Pressure? Oh, 159 kPa? Ugh. Make Venus no place for the faint of heart. Only the most accomplished stationeers will survive on our once sister planet, now barren rock. Dig deeper, we'll go, or dig deep, we'll go home. All right, let's, let's go. Give me Venus. Yeah, look, they look upset. They look upset. Look at this new car. I don't think it's that new, I just haven't built it. <laughs> okay. Oh, it is warm. Oh, I've got I've got some different sort of tape. 100 degrees, oh, that's okay, that's nothing. All right, we've got volatile. Okay, all right, let's assess the situation. I've got an arc welder in there. Oh, wow, look at all the tools, they look different. That's cool. I've got a can of beams, it seems I've got some water. All right, let's get going. So if it's going to go up to 500 fucking degrees during the, the day, I'm assuming, then it's going to be... Okay, look, there we got some water there. It's going to be just like um, Vulcan, right? Portable scrubber, air conditioner. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is a bit deja vu-like. Right. 6-5. Um, let's move some of this shit around. Um, crowbar. Let's put the crowbar there. Put the iPad there. Um, actually, let's have a quick look at this iPad. What have we got? N2, X, and CO2. Okay. At least the air's not 
fucking combustible, so that's good. Into CO2. What can we do with that? Okay. Oh, look at this. We start with a water tank. Okay, that's cool. Arc furnace. Okay, this all looks kind of normal. Active vent 2. We figured out we need that. Okay, cool. Let's get going. Um... Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna build. Uh, I think I'm gonna build a two by two really quick. I was actually quite happy with my sort of start on the previous episode. Accidentally kind of prepped us for this, you know. Um, iron sheets. Do I have door kits in here? You know what? I can take the solar panel. I'll put that straight on the top. Active vent. Door. Event. I sort of know where I want to place everything this time around, which is pretty cool. Alright, hang on. Iron frames. Uh, we're sort of in a little bit of a ditch, which is kind of cool, I guess. The iron everywhere and... Oh, is that silicon or ice? I'm not sure. Oh, wow. Okay, that works out quite well. Right. Let's make that our door. Right. Okay. Okay. Gotta get moving, gotta get wiggling. that back oh, what the fuck is this hang on oh hang on I grabbed the wrong the wrong thing wow the tools are cool these must be the upgraded versions that I've never seen You janky fucker. Nice. Let's put that back. Right. Let's get these walls up. I wanna I wanna try building them back to front this time actually, right? I kinda like having the insulation. Well, we'll see. This is something I was musing about. Oh, wow, the sun's coming up already. Good. I like working on the reverse. Well, am I going to be able to work on the reverse wall, actually? Shit. I'm not. Oh, you dickhead. I have to do it this way. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's happening too fast. Oh god, I've moved too slow. Shit. Um, door? No, not solar panel. Where, where the fuck is the door kit? Power controller. 
I'm going to need pipes. Oh, shit. I'm struggling to move against the wind or something. What was that? Oh, no. Pipes. Um, battery. Definitely need a battery. Oh, fuck. I'm going to need glass and plastic for these fucking doors. Eh. Um. In you go, big fella. Yep, that'll do for the moment. Very warm. All right, it's only 350 degrees. That's nothing. We're fine. What do these doors require? Welding torch, plastic sheet. Uh, shit, that's trying to blow away. Let's just put that on the wall. <laughs> um, welding torch. Crowbar glass sheet. did before, it's going to be fine. Now, the heat's not necessarily going to kill me, but it's going to make my life support system work fucking overtime, which is a problem. Um, oh, hang on. i got to think about this. Um... Power through, power through. Right. Jeez, I feel good that I did that trial run basically on Vulcan. That'll do. That's pretty much the pattern we did before, right? All right. Um, crowbar. Battery. Sit inward. Jesus, that pressure. Should be good now, right? NA. Alright. That's good. That's a good start. Can't see the pipes, which is interesting. What's our life support battery? 73%. Okay, not the end of the world. Now, 
I'm going to open this. It's at 150. Pressure. I mean... Oh, fuck. I was just thinking about that. Shit. The pressure differential. The pressure differential is going to kill me. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. Okay. Fuck, what do I do now? That's what I was thinking. I was like, how are these walls all staying together? Um... Yeah, I don't doubt it. It's 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 cycling my oxygen super fast. Shit. Um Computer landing pad. No, 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 no. no. I know what that's all for. What I lathe. For fuck's sake, this air is belting me around so much. Solid generator. I don't know, I need a scrubber. I need a scrubber or something. Air conditioner. Portable scrubber. Portable air conditioner. Portable air conditioner. Alright, hang on. Fucking stop blowing me away, you can't. Oh, for Christ's sake. All right, air conditioner. Portable air conditioner. How are we going to make this work? Battery goes in, air comes in. How does coolant work in the portable air conditioner? That's something that I can't quite recall. Um, we have to work this out. Wrench. Crowbar. Why do you keep telling me all different shit? Where'd my crowbar even go? There it is. Oh, for fuck's sake. Angle grinder. No. Okay, what is this thing? Oh, the aim is bullshit. Okay, hang on. Alright. Wreckage. Try this again. I fucking embrace this challenge. All right, so we need to actually keep our pressure normalized. All right. Fuck this wreckage right off. Launch it. There you go. That waste tank's getting up there. Outward.
still connected. Tell me a bit about yourself, sir. Set hot. Should be set cold. Is, does he have an entire, like, micro condenser system built into it? Pressure, okay, the pressure inside it's building. So how do I vent the pressure? Is there a handle on this? I mean, it's cooling it. And we've got a pressure indicator in here. Right, so this is going to be a power drain like crazy. Right, I'm going to leave that run for the moment. Right, 120 APA, so um, I'm going to want to normalise the pressure across the systems if I can keep that the same pressure as outside. That would be ideal. How am I going to do that? I might run a second active vent into the system. Well, first things first, we're going to need power. We're going to need power badly. Okay, okay. That's right. Stop flat spinning, Scarlet. You got this, right? So... I want a vent, I want a vent immediately, and I want a coal generator, and I want a solar panel. Okay, here we go. Um, solar panel's already in there. Landing kit, fuck off. Auto lathe furnace. Solar generator, right. Active vent. Um, do I have the other power controller? in my inventory. Oh, I put it on the wall in there. Okay, cool. Okay, so so the plan. We're, we're gonna we're gonna create a feed so as I can normalize the internal pressure when it changes. I'm just gonna have to I wonder how much it's gonna change during the day. Now I don't I'm gonna have to open this up to let it all normalize. Power low. Yeah, look, 108. So it's cooling it, but we're losing pressure, which is fine. Which is fine, but we're going to need to normalize it as well. Right? So um, I need to put an active vent in here. I need it to be powered. Shit. No, what I really... Oh, if I don't sort out this power, I'm fucked. I'll let that run. Sorry if I'm not verbalising what I'm trying to do here very well. Um, essentially... 
Well, essentially I'm in power trouble. But if I don't normalize the pressure from the outside properly, then we're in all sorts of trouble, right? Um, because especially if the pressure is going to go up during the day. So I need, I need this. I need this for that. I don't want the walls blowing off again, right? So what we actually need to do is open this up. Right, it goes up to 120. I need to actually sit inward. Right. There we go. We're starting to normalize a, a bit better. Sit outward. See what I mean? I need I need to uh, try and get the pressure the same if I can help it. that bad I suppose um all right I guess we'll find out won't we but I'll have to go outside when the sun comes up and get an idea of what the pressure is there so if we can get the pressure in here the same as outside the walls should be okay without blowing off, which would be good. Right. Now the point of doing this is that we will be able to draw from the pipe system. Like at the moment, it's a pretty ham-fisted way of equalizing, getting more gas into the system. Because as we cool it, the pressure is going to drop. And if the pressure drops too much, we're going to blow this fucking thing up. I don't have pipes, I need pipes. Better. <laughs> Waste tank critical. CO two and O two. Uh, uh, environment's not combustible. Okay. Is this just going to fucking spray all over the place? It is. So I can open it in my hand. Temperature high. Yeah. That should help. That should help. So we just let a bit off in inside. That's fine. All right. What is? Does the pressure change during the day? That's what we're worried about. 130, yeah, okay, 140, that's not good, 145, 150, fuck me, all right, let it in, let it in, I gotta wonder, it's gotta be a pressure differential now, I had it 
did I, uh, you know what? The walls didn't blow off. The walls blow off here because I had it in vacuum. Okay, have a think about this. Let's have a think about this. It's roughly 100. It's got to be a differential, right? It's got to be between 0 and 100. So the pressure went, I, I had the pressure inside the airlock at 0, and then the external went up to 150. That's why the fucking walls blew off, right? So we're going to take some samples, as it were. Oh, my God. Hang on. It's going right up. 186, 187. Oh, fuck me. We can't have a differential of 100. I need to just let it in. This kills me. Hundred and sixty. Two hundred stop going up. Oh, my God. What was I trying to do anyway? I'm probably going to need batteries. Two hundred and twenty. Oh, no, this is killing me, man. How do we deal with this? Oh. Think, think, think. Um, maybe we need a uh, a throughput. We need. Uh, I don't have passive vents. I can't make passive vents. Not yet. Um. What if I just throughput the, the, the air all the time? 170? 250, holy shit. I just need to give up on all that cooling I did. It's gonna it'll blow it's gonna blow me base up. Oh man, this is fantastic. Okay, cool. Well look, I've run out of time already. We haven't even come to thirst. I'm on 48% thirst. Maybe they did already patch it overnight. I'm not sure. That's pretty cool because it's not going that well. We'll see. So my one of my reactions is probably going to be I'm just going to put a passive vent on the outside and the inside and run a pipe through, right? Just to just to stabilize the pressure. Maybe even put a fucking valve on it or something, and just have a pseudo pass through for air. I don't know. I don't know what else to do here. Um, because I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to vent air at night time as well. Because look at this, our, our pressure's gone up to 100, 260. Unless I iron walled and ironed everything, uh, frames like I could do frames perhaps, but um, I mean, do door when do doors blow? You know, I don't know. This is crazy. I'm enjoying it a lot, but uh, we're definitely gonna have to have a think about this. All right, might even have to restart on the next one. I'm not sure, but yeah, I might I might just have a pa pass through and have a super power grid that's always cooling all the time. Um, with a machine like this. Um, yeah, not sure yet. All right, team, thanks again for joining me. Might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.